Hey there guys, Narian here, and I'm going to teach you how to play with ZSNES, this emulator right here, online. Go to this page, it'll be linked in the description, and download version 1.42 for uh, Windows or Linux, if you happen to use Linux. Linux is pretty cool. Although, I don't think it'll work for Linux, because I don't think Hamachi works on Linux. It might, but I don't have Linux, I wouldn't know. I've tried it before with... That, that, that's for a different time. Anyway. <coughs> Naturally, I already have this. Download this. If you don't know how to port forward, download Logme and Hamachi. If you do know how to port forward, you probably already know the rest of this. For your friends, you want to make a new network. You can name it anything like just ZSNES Multiplayer... This network isn't going to stay, so don't try to connect after I upload this video. And now you have this network, and you can see it. There's no one connected, because unfortunately the one friend I got who could have joined me right now, because they're not busy or anything, couldn't. This is your Hamachi IP. Your IPv4 for Hamachi. You just copy paste. That's what you want your friends to connect to. Once they've all joined your network by clicking network, join an existing network, ZSNES multiplayer, then whatever the password is, they'll be in it too. Then you need. Whoever's hosting needs to go in here to netplay. That's not your actual IP, by the way. That's your internal IP, which is a component of port forwarding, and it's really complicated, and I'm not going to explain that. Because that's more time than I have, and there are many websites that explain it far better than I do. But anyway, this is the port you're setting it to. Again, port forwarding. This is your nickname, which is what shows up in the chat client. Now, you either connect to whatever IP address you have here, over there on Hamachi, like 5... Like for me, it's 5107.49.250. They'll enter that, connect to UDP instead of TCP with Hamachi. Then you start a server and you wait for them to join. It's under NetPlay here, Internet. Make sure you downloaded 1.42. The others don't have NetPlay support. It says NetPlay, but the Internet option is grayed out, so you can't use it. Once this happens, the other person will connect, then you just go to game and load, and you load the ROM. I will not provide any links to any ROMs. There, it, it, downloading ROMs from download sites and not making a legal backup yourself is illegal. Of course, there are many wonderful products on the that you can purchase that will allow you to make backups of your Super Nintendo games. And that's perfectly alright. If you get that thing that connects to the USB port that you can plug your Super Nintendo game in, it downloads it into ROM, and you got a backup, that's legal. That's fine. Just downloading them is illegal. Won't provide any links to any ROM download sites. I'm afraid, I'm really sorry I couldn't provide any actual confirmation that this works, but for me it works, and if Hamachi doesn't work, there's something wrong with your internets, and I don't really know how to fix that. I don't know how to fix that network, and you better hope one of you can learn how to port forward. Because that fixes that problem like 99% of the time. Because you're not using Hamachi anymore. Because it's pretty clunky and it causes a lot of lag. Port forwarding is way superior, but it's way harder to do. And I keep talking about port forwarding, and if you actually know how to edit your router's settings, I would highly advise learning how to port forward, and learning how to use the proper ports for port forwarding, and doing it because it's awesome. Awesome to the max. Anyway, that's you play ZSNES online. I'm just, again, sorry I couldn't give you an actual example, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs>